Pablo Gunner, and I'm here to talk nerdy to you about fitness and nerdy things, which is what I usually do. I know it's been a while, I'm a little late on this one, but I wanted to make sure I got like a full four weeks worth of workouts and stuff like that in before I put out a video, and it's been really busy, so I actually just woke up really early, and uh, that's, that's why I'm, you know, in my... Uh, my pajajays, El Capitano pajajays, and so, like I said, so I'm gonna be talking about my workouts, some of the food I ate throughout the month, video games, music, shows, all that stuff, all the nerdy things, you know, all wrapped up into this thing. So, I'm gonna start off with the workout stuff. Like I said, I've been saying in the last few ones, I hurt my neck, uh, I haven't been cleared by the doctor. I actually just went to the doctor, I should ask him if I'm okay to run, but as my wife said, she was like, well, we haven't gotten the, the MRI done or any of that other stuff, so he can't really say whether or not you're good to go. Now, I feel better, I feel fine, I feel like I could run, and I'd like to run, and I haven't been able to do that cardio, and it's really driving me crazy, so I've been trying to supplement it with swimming, but it's tough because the only time or place I can go swim... I guess I could have, the, there's other places I could go swim, but I've just been, I got a membership to Define Fitness. It's expensive though to go swimming two, twice a week, and that's pretty much all I use it for. I was going to go Sunday, but they they close early. So I thought they were open until midnight, but on Sunday they're open until like seven and that's it. What I do on my Monday, on my day one, I call it, my first day, I'll call it just day one because it's my first day I work out. I do yoga. And then I usually do abs. So I'll do yoga for like th uh, like 30 minutes. Uh, it, it, it varies. It, it varies. Because usually on my first day of yoga, what I'll do is I'll do 10 breaths for each pose. That's like the first time I do that pose. But then when I repeat that pose, then I do this thing where I'll only do like three breaths. But they'll be like extended breaths. You know, uh, deep breaths. So... And then, and then after I'm done with that, then I'll do abs. And so, like, for the first one, uh, I started out with 60. Like, I'll do 60 breaths. I was, I was just sticking to 60, anything that I did, you know. So I would do, I would just have my legs lay down. And if you want, you can put your hands under, like, your spine, you know, like your hip or whatever. Wherever, like, it would hurt your back so that it doesn't, like, constantly, it's not constantly hitting the floor, just to support it, make it a little easier on yourself. I also, at work, they have this rollout thing. I like to roll it out before I do abs uh, and before I even do yoga, just because I can hear it like popping and crinkling and everything like that, and it feels amazing. So that's it, too. So I started with 60, and so for each week, I do this thing where it looks really lame, and it looks like it does nothing, but it actually does probably the most which is I'll just lay down and I'll just hold the crunch position, but my legs are completely down, outstretched or whatever. I mean, not stretched out, but you know, like they're just laying down. And I hold it and I'll hold it for like 60 breaths, you know, and you can feel it. I feel it. Like my, my upper abs, they always look amazing the next day. And I can feel it when I'm doing it. You know, I'll do like uh, hello dollies or spread eagles, you know, with my legs going in and out uh, like that. And so, like I said, and then 60 heel touches. And I, I, so I try to alternate and stuff uh, with like lower abs, upper abs, lower abs, upper abs. So it's not just one or the other. So I don't get too tired out. And so essentially, I just did all these workouts. Now, I'm going to post the full things that I did on the website. So go to the website, tntmtheshow.com. Put the W's in first because then if you don't, then it won't. Or it might automatically do it. It should automatically do it. All these various workouts that are upper abs, lower abs, and I did 60. And then each week on my day one, I would go, okay, I'm going to go for 65. I'm going to go one week I only did, I would do like 62. And then for the other workout, I would do like 30. You know, for the ones that I would do a lot. Because there's certain workouts where like the end of the hello dollies or the spread eagles like those i do that every other one so since i'm doing it twice as much i'm doing half the amount so i'll do 32 instead of the 62 uh and then same thing with the heel touches uh but the heel touches are so easy i don't really need to do half of those it was more so just the spread eagles uh and certain workouts i also try to do legs at night when i get off 
and not like a full legs, but just like they have these workout machines at the gym. And so they're the ones where you kick your legs out. There's that one. And then the other machine is where you have your legs out and you pull them in. And so that one, I tried it. I've built up to the point where like I know my weight is like I can do, you know, I'll go. I usually go like 10, 8, 6, 4. You know, and I'll up the weight five pounds each time because they have that knob. I think like sometimes I'll start at like 90. And then the one where you kick your legs out, that one's easier. Uh, and that one I do like one, one, 190 or, or 170 or something. I'm always trying to step it up. Even if it's just like by five pounds, I'll go like, okay, last week or the last time I did this, you know, I did this amount. So I'm going to do five more pounds this week. It's been a pretty crazy week for overtime and stuff like that. And just, I was taking care of my wife because she was sick. So there was that too. So I didn't, I wasn't able to go to work as as much as I'd like. What happened is on my second week uh, for day two, I did yoga again, which was probably my Wednesday actually. Uh, so I did yoga, I did push-ups, and I did pull-ups. And then for yoga, what I did is, like I said, I, I did the 10 breaths each pose. That was every time it was a new pose, but then when it was a repeated pose, I would do like five long breaths. For push-ups, I did 15 diamond, 20 military, 25 regular, 30 wide. And then pull-ups, I would do like 10, eight, like I would do uh, re yeah, regular pull-ups, uh, 10, 8, 6, then 4. And so I would alternate. So I would do like 15 and then 15 push up diamond push-ups and then 10 pull-ups. You know, 20 military push-ups and then 8 pull-ups. Uh, 25 regular push-ups and then 6 pull-ups. 30 wide push-ups and 4 regular pull-ups. Uh, then I did legs that night as well. I also threw in some curls in there. So I did like 6 reps at 90, ta uh, at 90 pounds um four times and then on day three which was probably actually the next day which was my thursday i swam for 23 minutes thing is is because i had done chest and arms before my arms were really tired so i was like i'm not doing chest again if you follow my social media my facebook or whatever or my twitter then you would know like i was pretty sore then the next week a uh, similar thing day one did the yoga that's when i stepped up to 65 uh you know and the abs and then, uh, yeah, 665 for the abs. And then for day two, yoga and abs, like I said, once again, was probably my Wednesday. I did legs and curls once again. On day three, I did my 27-minute uh, swim. So for food, like I said, because my wife was sick, mi madre, she made some arroz con pollo for my mom, I mean, for my wife. That's what I, I ate that leftovers because the wife was like, it's still greasy for me. So I was like, all right, whatever, if you don't want to get better. So that's what I ate um, uh, for a lot of the times. And then I think even the next week and then I another week, the wife made some green chili chicken enchiladas without green chili. So it didn't have much flavor. The usual, though, is Nusi yogurt. I had mango, uh, cheese stick as usual, naranjo, cheese cubes slash dried fruit and nuts, and then uh, organic uh, gogurt as well as I've been eating burritos. And they usually consist of egg, cheese, and sausage or egg cheese, potato, and chicken. I've been getting those after I leave from my swim at Twister's stuff. I've been trying to eat healthy, but my wife and I have been eating. I, I was on, day, I had training one day, so I was on day shift, so that day we went to eat out, so that wasn't a good, you know, for during the week, and then I had leftovers. I've been eating a lot of leftovers, so it's been a lot of bad food leftovers. And so this week I was like, wife, I don't want to eat any leftovers, so let's not go too much on the food and stuff, so. And I have a lot of stuff in my freezer that I need to eat. Uh, some organic things called like Freshly. So, and they're like frozen, like packaged thing. But anyways, they look great. And so I need to eat those. As well as I found some like some ramen bowls at Costco that I recently got. So I want to get at those too. And then I got some, some Froyo uh, bars, strawberry bars. Only 110 calories per bar. So that's pretty awesome. I can have those like as a snack on my way to work, which is like a you know, hour and a half to 45 minute drive. So for music, I've been listening to Florida Georgia Line, the album Anything Goes. Now, this one is like very party focused. A lot of it is just like very, it's very party focused. It's more like poppy, you know, rock, you know, kind of like rock too. And I don't relate to the songs, but I still enjoy listening to them. And it's just, that's, that's how you know, it's just good music, you know? Um, now I prefer listening to music that I relate to, but at the same time, still enjoyable. 
Now, considering music that I can relate to that I've also been listening to, Dashboard Confessional put out a new album. It's been like eight, nine years or something like that. And it's called Crooked Shadows. And that one's great. I love it a lot, especially because, you know, I'm married, been married for almost 11 years now. And it's hard to find music that you can relate to because a lot of music's either about breakups or like new love. And so it's hard to find music that's about like long lasting love and, you know, keeping it fresh. It's just that kind of stuff. And so that's what this album is and feels like to me. It's not just love for like necessarily a person, but also like in the music too, because it's been so long. But yeah, so it works. It's some of it does feel a little overproduced, but it still has so much heart and soul that it, it, it really gets me. It really gets me and it, I really feel it. So it's, it's an album that I love listening to because it makes me feel and think about my wife. Ever since the uh, the Silverstein concert that uh, Slagey and I went to, I was it's been a while, but I finally have gotten into the other bands that, or checked out the bands that, that were part of that uh, concert, which is Broadside. First album, didn't really care for. Second one, pretty solid. Third one, even better. So I downloaded those. And then Picturesque is the other one too. And they had like an EP, I didn't even listen to it. But I listened to their first album. Pretty solid for a first album, but they're very, very like high and screechy, kind of like Coheed and Cambria. And then like the lead singer kind of looks like uh, he kind of looks like Draco Malfoy, but like if he grew his hair out like his dad, like Draco's dad. I also listened to uh, Tupac, Me Against the World. I like it a lot, but it's not as good as the first his first album. But it's still really, really solid. Like it's just a notch below it. Shows I've been watching Rebels, and it's been tearing my heart apart. Uh, so I'm only like three episodes in, don't spoil it for me, uh, of the newest season. Jessica Jones, I'm almost done with that. It's been really solid. It is, there's not a lot of like super powered stuff going on. And this one seems it's a lot more like a mental, they focus a lot more on like the investigation stuff and manipulation and a lot of like drug related things to like addiction. It focuses on that, a lot of that stuff too. Gurren Lagan, I've been trying to get back into that. That show's so hard for me to watch because, like, I like the animation and it's kind of like a robo tech thing, but it's not at the same time. And anyways, I'm like, I've been stuck at this point because Simone has just been such a whiny bitch and for so long. And I just, I haven't been able to watch it because he's so whiny and I hate it. And so I hate the show because he's being so whiny. But now it, I got to an episode where he's finally like, he's bucked up and he's got his crap together and now he's back in it. So now I'm like, okay, now I can watch this show consistently. Um, but I'm probably going to watch Voltron once I'm done with Jessica Jones because they have new episodes of Voltron as well. Uh, I still want to do a cosplay of that. Uh, I should hit up this chick that's a local because she's really hardcore about it as well and has done a lot of the cosplays for it. Anyways, for gaming, I've been playing Kingdom Hearts, the remix. And so I'm so close to beating it, but I want to get a lot of the trophies. I am a trophy hunter, trophy whore, whatever you may call it. And then I've also been playing a little bit of Metroid uh, Samus Returns, which is a phenomenal, brilliant game. It's so hard. There's so much to it. It's a game that I feel like I'd be playing for forever and not get sick of it because they're always adding new things. And then for comics, Captain America is always solid because, you know, Mark Wade. Chris Amney's all is brilliant. Batman's been freaking awesome. Tom King just kills it with Joel Jones and Mikael Janine. And then Spidey, Spectacular Spider-Man has been so great with Chips Zdarsky. And then a lot of the X-Men titles have been freaking killing it. X-Men Blue, maybe not the, the most recent one. Colin Bunn's been doing an awesome job with that, as well as uh, Mark Guggenheim on X-Men Gold has been really great too. They have like some prison stuff going on, which is pretty great and now Iceman has his own B team and Iceman's always great but that just ended and stuff there's a lot of great like Generation X that one ended but it's so good of a run so you should get that in trade a lot of great stuff going on Turtles is always phenomenal of course it's uh, tubular so radical that's pretty much it for now so like I said the swimming I would like to do it more I'd like to do it I want to get to the point where I can swim every single day and be able to swim for an hour and if I can keep that up I'll get my Aquaman tattoo. Probably in April, I'm going to be changing my schedule to like going back to the original thing that I started with, which was just these simple workouts and then building up to like, you know, you know weights and then building up to like uh, more hardcore stuff. 
Uh, it's going to be a process. I'm going to be driving with my dad, and I'm going to try to whip him into shape. So uh, I'm going to try to get, like, some progress picks with me and him, you know, like how we started and where we're going to end, you know, or, like, probably some monthly picks. I mean, this is a monthly thing. Maybe even I'll, I'll see if I can get him in on a podcast or, or a video or whatever or just even, you know, whatever I can do. But that's what I'm going to try to do with my pops once we start uh, driving together. That'll be an interesting journey of its own. So until then, I'm just going to keep up this thing, trying to swim more. Like I said, swim every other day and uh, continue, you know, doing just doing more. I need to be more workout focused. So, uh, and, and I've seen, I can tell it makes a difference even when I just swim one day. It makes a huge difference. I can see the difference in my abs. I can see the difference in my chest. I can see the difference in my shoulders, uh, my freaking lats, uh, which I want to focus more on. And then, of course, always the abs. When I do abs, like every other day, I can see it makes a difference. I love the how I look the day after I do abs. Uh, so, yeah, that's it for now. I want to know, uh, what kind of pajajas do you wear? Stay fit, stay healthy, stay nerdy. Love and peace.